and I have a blank file now. And what we're going to start off with is we're going to make our lantern, and we're going to start off with a little uh, flame animation. So to do this, what I'm going to start with is my pen tool, and I'm going to go click and click and drag and click and drag and click and drag. Going to just go over here and click and click and drag and click and drag and click to close it off. Okay, so there that'll be my flame. Um, you can see I did it with the pen tool, and now I'll go to my black arrow selection tool and I'll see that uh, it looks pretty good. Um, what I can do now is I can zoom in and I can examine it a little closer. If I wanted to, I can grab my black arrow tool and pull that out a little bit. Maybe make that a little straighter. Don't want to break it or anything. Okay. Do that. Okay, I don't like that. So I'll get my um Sub select tool and click on this, and I need to remove this one. So, pen tool, uh, delete anchor point, and click, and click, and that deletes the anchor point. Uh, minus out, control on the keyboard and the minus sign to zoom out. And get my black arrow, and that looks pretty good. I'll take this paint bucket change my fill to a uh, orange color and nope I'll make that a yellow okay so there's my flame and I no longer need the outline so I will double click on the line with my black arrow selector tool and get rid of the line press delete so now I have my my flame to start with now this flame is going to need to be a lot smaller, so I'll select it, get my transform tool, hold down the shift key, and from the corner, make it smaller. Okay, use the arrows on the keyboard to move it around. I can also grab it from the yellow here, drag it around. All right, and get my black arrow again, select it, and convert it to a symbol. Modify symbol or F8. It's going to be a movie clip. And I'll call it MC underscore flame for movie clip flame. Click OK. And there I have my flame to start with. It's a movie clip. Notice it's in my uh, library. Okay. And we'll keep working on it in the next movie. I'm going to uh, select the flame, and then I'm going to double click on it to go inside of the flame. And now if you look here, I'm no longer in scene one. I'm in MC flame. I'm inside my flame movie clip, and I'm going to add more keyframes to make the flame animate. I'm going to zoom in with my zoom tool. Okay. And if I hold down the space bar, I can adjust the window. And what I'm going to do is I'll get my black arrow again once again. I'm going to add a new keyframe, and I'll add this new keyframe, let's say, on frame 3 instead of frame 2. And notice what happens when I right-click and add my keyframe here. It automatically puts a frame, a regular frame, in between 1 and 3 on 2. So now I have my new keyframe. I'll just grab my arrow tool, deselect by clicking the background, and I'm just going to start moving the points around a little bit make my flame jump a little bit here. So I'll move that, move this, move that, move this. Just clicking and dragging, trying to make my flame dance a little bit here. So now, if I was to play the animation, you could see that's the way it would look. Now, I'm not too happy with that. 
So what I'll do is, is I'll zoom in with my subselect tool. Let's see, and um, I might need to get rid of some of these points. So I will delete anchor points. That one. Alt click on it. Let's see here. I will uh, delete this one. I need to delete this one. Okay, and I'm going to take this one and I need to Alt click on it. that and just drag it down okay. move it there and now my phone is black okay maybe I'll just get my black arrow make this look good and I'll get my sub select tool here that over. Good. I'll call that good. And time for another keyframe on five. Insert keyframe. And we've got to do the whole, the whole thing over again. So now I need to move this. I need to curve this. This needs to curve inside now. This needs to curve outside. And just to make your flame dance a little bit. And everything should move a bit. Good. Put a new keyframe on 7. Insert keyframe. And move everything back over. Okay, remember that everything needs to move. Okay, that's good. And I'll put a regular frame right there. Okay, right click, insert frame, left click. And so now I have an animation. And to see my flame in action, what I can do is I can hit, go to Control, Loop Playback then hit control play or enter and you can see the flame dancing. Now it's going to need to move a little faster than that so what I'll probably do is uh, hit enter again to stop go down click on the background with my black arrow and change the frame rate to let's say 18 hit enter click on the background hit enter again and play your animation. Now just supposed to be a flame animation. What I'm probably going to do is add one more keyframe for my flame and uh, and then call it good. Hit enter to stop and I'll see you in the next movie.